Hello there. I hope you're doing well today. My name is Dr. Katherine Garforth, and today I have the pleasure of talking to Dr. Jennifer Buckingham. Today we're going to be speaking about orthographic mapping. So how does reading strategies like looking at pictures, using context cues, and skipping the word prevent orthographic mapping? They all, they all draw students' attention away from the word and the letters in the word. So the best way to read a word is to look at the letters um, and decode through the word. Uh, and if there is something that needs adjusting according to, to context or pronunciation, then you make that adjustment um, after you've decoded through the word. So um, anything that involves either skipping or um, looking at the pictures is not going to focus the brain's attention on the graphophonemic properties of the word. Um, and if we're not, we learn what we pay attention to. So instructional strategies that don't direct attention to the, the thing that we want to learn uh, are not going to help us to learn that. Yeah, well, and again, if we look at the fMRI research and looking at how individuals approach reading, there's studies showing that students who are poor or struggling readers do use those strategies of looking for contacts, looking at pictures, moving their eyes away from the word when they're trying to figure out what it says, whereas the skilled readers are the ones that are paying the attention to the letter sound correspondences. So when we promote strategies like guessing or looking at the pictures, we're giving these students instruction to read like poor readers and not like skilled readers. Yeah, that's right. And, and eye tracking studies similarly. So there's a lot of information about what, what we do when we're reading that have come from those studies that show we are actually, when we're reading a word, we are looking at we're fixating on the word that we're reading um, and we are we see every single letter in that word we don't sort of we don't guess um, at what the word is we we read the word according to its exact properties but also that um, we are sort of reading a tiny little bit ahead you know um, at the same time as we're focusing on each word um, and that we are not predicting based on meaning we are predicting based on what are, what are the first few letters in that word and what are the graphophonemic properties of what that word is likely to be. So it's much more efficient if you learn how to pay attention to the, the letters in the word um, and then therefore its pronunciation and its meaning than if you're using, you're trying to pull in a bunch of other information and, and, and cues at the same time. Right. 